Welcome everybody to Freestyle Live Special Edition. I am your host, Jack Heyer. I'm super excited to be here. I'm with my ambassadors. Uh, you know, tonight, it's not about me. I'm more of like a spirit guide through this amazing process. Uh, what it's really about is, first of all, the Freestyle Live, the Freestyle Live event pack, the mystery cigar. Um, we're going to be talking a lot about, you know, the badge. We have an amazing prize that we are giving away tonight. Uh, one lucky person is going to leave here. Well, not they're not going to leave here because they're probably at their house or a cigar store, but they're going to leave with a Jeep Wrangler, which we're super excited about. Uh, we're also going to break some amazing news. We're going to talk a lot about Barn Smoker, which we're super excited about. There's so, so many incredible things going on. But I would be remiss before I kind of go around the horn and welcome everybody. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about a special thing that's happening tonight. Uh, we have some watch parties that are happening across the country. So we threw up some graphics uh, beforehand where we were talking about you know, some of the incredible retailers and some of our best friends in the industry are getting together at different lounges. So I'm going to shout a couple out. Uh, shout out to the Smoking Cave and Highlands Ranch. Uh, shout out to Cigars at Waterford. And uh, we got somebody in Miami, Absolute Cigar Shop. So what's happening at these watch parties, we have some of our retailers getting together, some people watching the show right now live in their shows or in their uh, stores on their TV. So we're super excited about that. Thank you to everybody that's in watch party. We're shouting that out. But my... My mouth is dry from talking so much about myself and all these things. I think it's time for us to introduce some of our ambassadors. I'm going to start with the man to my left, Mr. Pedro Gomez, our factory spokesperson. Pedro, you had a pretty special day today. Tell the people, <laughs> tell the people what happened. <laughs> well, first of all, I just want to thank everybody that has been tuning with us. Uh, 
Thank you so very much for the support. We are super, super excited because uh, today we got this amazing Freestyle Life special edition, man. That's the only thing that's special about today? Well, today, well, I just want to give uh, the thanks to the good Lord up there for giving me the bless to have my uh, citizenship today. today. Today has been a crazy day, a lot of mixed emotions, super happy, super grateful, which is the number one feeling that I have in my heart right now. So God is good, yes. Amazing. God Congratulations. Thank you, brother. Americanization. <laughs> I would give a round of applause, but I think the mics would, you know, it would be a crazy situation with the mic. Now, joining us for the first time in studio, our friend Juan from Hoya. Juan, president, among many other things, the best hair in the room, which is really, I got to be honest, making me feel bad about myself. It's not your fault. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, man. So exciting. No, I'm excited. First time over here in the freestyle. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a great honor to be sitting in this table to be here. Uh, thank you for having me and uh, felicidades, Pedro. Un honor, un honor. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank we're, you so we're super excited to have you in person. It's just, it's just so much better than a Zoom screen where we, you know, we can get together. Now, JD, I don't think that I have to introduce you, but I'd like to. You know, the founder of Drew Estate, current president, CMO, many other titles. Um, I, I, we have a huge weekend coming up, and I'm excited for uh, you to, you know, kick it off with me. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, Jack... I, we just packed the car. We're about to head to Orlando and get ready for the Barn Smoker. And I think this is going to be one of the most special Barn Smokers we've ever had. You know, for me, the first Barn Smoker that we ever did in Kentucky many, many years ago will always be that magic moment. But this one, after so many years of us not being with our crew and thousands of people who come to the Barn Smokers, so the car's packed, we're about to head over, and the big news, you know, with Pedro today, him earning his citizenship here in the United States, and Pedro, how many years you've been with us at Drew Estate? 16 years. <laughs> 16 years, so Pedro Gomez, you know, from, from all of us here in the United States and Nicaragua, congratulations on everything you've accomplished at the company, and as a man, and as a friend to so many of us, so... Uh, today is an incredibly special day, Jack, and uh, I am truly feeling excited across the board. Let's go. Amazing. <laughs> now, over, we have, we kind of keep the rowdy boys, the Miami, the 305 crew, we kind of keep them distanced from the, uh, the main desk, because this is where things get live. I'm going to start with Mr. Frankie Dranks. Frank, talk to me. I am people. Frank, Frankie Dranks, Marino. Welcome to Sticks and Sips Special Edition. I'm, I don't know about this freestyle live stuff, but uh, listen, we're taking over. Willie, you with me? I'm with you, bro. Let's do I this thing, back. man. You know, we do Sticks and Sips every Wednesday, and tonight I'm going to get like five guests, man. This is going to be the most monstrous thing. We got watch parties. They're not here for freestyle live. They're here for Sticks and Sips, right, Jack? No? Uh, I'm good with that. All right. I think that's fine. I'm good. I'm we, good. Need, I'm, we need the right, promo, man. too. We need uh, some, you know. We man, need we're super enjoyment. happy to be here for Freestyle Live, the big reveal of the Big Mystery Cigar. And uh, I couldn't be happier to be with all these guests that I've got with me uh, from Jack Pedro's very special day. Hit, you know, clap for him. Yeah. We got Juan in the house. We got JD. And I got my man, Mr. 305, the real one, uh, <laughs> Willie Herrera. Hey, man. It's, uh, it's another great day. Uh, a lot of exciting news um like you said the big reveal everybody's saying oh it's this oh it's that it's going to be out today and uh just excited to have the crew here together man so let's get the show on the road let's do this thing well we have we have a very exciting like jd said you know there's some of us that are going to be at like paul revere riding through the night straight to <laughs> claremont florida we're coming for you guys so we're super excited um you know we have a bunch of news that we're dropping and I do want to get to that, but I think that, you know, what makes this Freestyle Live super special is it's going to be followed by a barn smoker. So I'm going to throw up a graphic with some of the barn smoker dates. Uh, if you guys do not have your tickets yet for any of these experiences, if you're in Florida and you don't have tickets, we still have like a couple tickets left. They're probably going to be gone by the end of the show even. Who knows? Uh, so if you guys can join us, please do. It's an incredible experience. We have a, a graphic coming up with some of the amazing swag and uh the packages that we give away at these things, and uh, I, I have some here, and I was showing them to Juan earlier, and he was like, dude, are you guys were giving this to people? I was like, yes, <laughs> you're going to leave this weekend with more amazing experiences, um, physical goods, you know, Drew State cigars and memories. I mean, come on. What else can we say that hasn't been said? Um, JD, I want you to just give a quick, just a quick little homage to Barn Smoker and talk to some people that maybe have never 
heard of Barn Smoker. There are a lot of people that are going to be joining us. This might be their first time they've ever done a Drew Estate anything. So tell people what a Barn Smoker is or what it's like. Yeah, cool. Well, first of all, for this Barn Smoker coming up this week, I believe we're sold out for Friday night. We're yes. sold out for Saturday. Yes. And we are very close to, to being sold out for Sunday. So it is true. We'll probably be, be done in a little while. And, uh... You know, Barn Smoker has been around now, I believe, for seven or eight years. Wow. Can't remember, nine years. And uh, it's basically, you know, what we've always done in Nicaragua with Cigar Safari is that three-night, four-day tour, bringing people to Nicaragua, staying at the factory, total immersion at the factory. Uh, Barn Smoker is basically that that American tobacco experience where we, we transferred Cigar Safari here to the United States. So, you know, we do one in, in Orlando. We do Kentucky. We do Connecticut, Pennsylvania. And this year we're doing the Savage Feast, which will be our first main, you know, major experiential event in Texas, it's in Dallas. So Barn Smoker is something that you're going to experience. It's different than an in-store event, which are incredible. And our our uh, factory, our excuse me, our uh, uh, team of sales guys and women across the the country, we do those SSEs where we have in-store events. This is really a whole different thing. This is like that whole day on the barn, all day at the farm, and you learn a lot. So. It's really a, a deep, Im, deeply immersive experience. If you, uh, and, you know, I know why you're bringing this up. So many of you are saying, like, why the fuck is JD talking about Barn Smoke? We've been to six of them already. Yeah. It's because there are a lot of new people tuning in. Freestyle Life has become such a big success. Thousands and thousands. I mean, think about this. We did 10,000 packs. Yeah. <laughs> and all these people have registered. And they're all tuning in, and a lot of them have never even spoke to Drew Estate, or some of them don't know what a barn smoker is or any of this stuff. So for those of you who don't know, go to barnsmoker.com, and you'll get all your info there, and that wraps that up. Yeah, I mean, we know, I know that a lot of people registered their badges for this raffle because we, I tried to lift the raffle wheel earlier, and I was like, oh, I, I didn't really think that part through. It's heavy. Uh, now, J.D., this is this is that. I'm not saying that this is the exact moment because I think we might need to draw it out. And I don't know why I'm just talking to JD Payne. Right? What, are you, what are you chop liver? Um, but you know, a lot of people in the chat have guessed, and I'm encouraging them to do so now because this is your last chance to guess. Right. Some people. What have what have you heard from the well, streets? People have been saying that is the new Herrera Esteli. Yeah, Herrera Esteli. I heard that. That's right. So <laughs> a lot of people that say they swear that is Herrera Esteli. I don't know what what have you heard, Willie? What are, is it a new Herrera Esteli? You're gonna tell the people. <laughs> it's too early. I mean, we, we, we've had the most, I think, of any of these, the most, and, and it might be a totally new brand, like 20 Acre Farm. I mean, it might be a, something totally different. We're getting a lot of that, actually. We have had a lot of guesses, and the, the, we've run the gamut of, you know, the full, almost the full flavor wheel on this thing. So, JD, do, should we tease him a little bit more, or do you think that we should drop the video? You tell me. <laughs> Well, you know, before you drop the video, because yes, I know, sir. I know definitely, I've heard of people who are, there's bets out there. Yeah. I don't know if it's just in Vegas or, or <laughs> DraftKings or whatever it is, but there is a lot of rumors about what the cigar is. There's people out there who think they know what it is and this and that. And, you know, putting out misinformation is one of our greatest uh, <laughs> skill sets. But um, uh, I can tell you that the amount of people who have come back with the price point on this cigar has been really interesting to me. Yes. Do you guys remember last time when we dropped the 20 Acre Farm? It was very surprising because it has a, just, a, just a little bit, when Willie blended it, of the Florida Sun Grown tobacco in it. Mm -hmm. And nobody thought it was going to be <laughs> anything to do with Florida Sun Grown, which was, which was great. The cigar being so buttery smooth, it mm -hmm. wasn't what they expected. Yeah. And, the, and the stick is on fire, so great job, Willie. But this time... The thing that, one thing that has shocked me the most yes. is the price point that I'm seeing that people are guessing. They're saying the cigar should be like 8 to 10, 10 to 11, 10 to 12. So... You think, are they right or are they wrong? Well, I'll tell you this. <laughs> what are you hearing out there? We didn't give you a better guess. All right, so let's do it. Let's, let's, let's run the tape. And let's let them know what we what we got in store for them. We're so let me tell you about my hometown, Esteli, Nicaragua. The city of Esteli is a world full of colors that match the spirit of my people. The walls of Esteli are brightly painted with colorful graffiti, and the humble homes are close together like our tight knit community. This was captured by Doug Diaz and Soul Culture Studios and now is 
display on this beautiful vase. Nica Rustica brand featured El Brujito, the official symbol of the city of Esteli. El Brujito is a petroglyph that was found in a rock over 6,000 years ago, and it is a symbol of pride for every Esteliano. Nica Rustica Dove is a unique, unpolished Habano experience and we are super excited for you to try. Nica Rustica Dove, from our house to yours. Are open now. All right, and that was the that was the big news, you guys. It's Nica Rustica Adobe. That is the new cigar that we just dropped on you. Uh, a lot of people were the first to try it in this pack. We have. I'm going to have a lot of information coming with, uh, we're going to have a press release with all the geeky stuff. But first things first, I want to talk to Mr. Willie Herrera about the blend and the flavor experience of this cigar. <clears throat> Sorry. I well, lost it there for a second. The, you go. You all right there, man? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So, you know, this cigar, man, it's, you know, like John was saying uh, earlier, it's, it's all over the place. People are saying it's this, it's that, it's, you know, it could be this, it could be, it should be this price point. You know, the, the blend of this cigar, it's, it's all Nicaraguan fillers. Um, and you have a, a Brazilian binder on there with an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. And, you know, it's, it's that medium, medium plus, depending on the smoker. You know, another interesting thing about this cigar, as people were smoking them, you know, it's the, everybody's palate's different. So you were getting some guys that, oh, it's really mild. And you're getting some guys that, oh, this is real strong. It's just a rustic delicious well-balanced cigar uh full flavor and something that's going to take you to the next level and i, I don't want to give away some of the better parts of this uh which is the price points and uh i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna give it back to you uh i wanted to, i'm gonna i'm gonna volley it right back to you because i we had a phenomenon that happened with this cigar that had not happened with our two previous uh mystery cigars and actually, Frank had the best explanation of it, and, and it was that people were kind of all over the place on their their flavor notes or their... Uh, Frank, you, you just take this away because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to summarize. Well, part of it, Jack uh, and Willie, is like when we're talking about like the body of a cigar, right? It's just like talking about the body of a wine. You know, we can feel its intensity, and it tends to live in that medium, medium plus as its body. But it's the spectrum, right? Mm -hmm. The breadth of its flavors is very very wide mm -hmm. um so we're not only just talking about the the, the body of it how it feels as, it, as you go through that cigar journey mm -hmm. but all the flavors that you're getting with the nica rustica mm -hmm. uh, you're getting the breadth of flavors that for some people are, are like man this is really smooth and delicious it's full flavored uh i get the entire breadth of flavor to some guys going man i really taste the spice on it and it's really delicious mm -hmm. and all that blend so it's it's really a phenomenal phenomenal offering and uh to be part of freestyle live uh to talk about nika rusica you know man we are uh, i'm super excited because uh, yeah. it has a breath of uh a breath of expressions a breath of experiences that everyone can enjoy absolutely. with this cigar absolutely well said and uh the next part i wanted to get to was was you pedro well, you you were a, an absolute star in that video i mean i i think that i think that your next stop might be hollywood because the last few videos you put out have been like near your feature film worthy um but people are going to ask or talk about and that you they t you talked about it a little bit on the video right well, what is adobe and what is what is that kind of explain to us a lot of people know nica Rusica as you know el brujito the logo uh right. that is displayed but what is what is this specific expression mean or what is what's different absolutely you know when we launched in 2013 nica rustica which was a beautiful broad leaf uh cigar medium to full in 2022 we got nica rustica dove but before i jump into detail i just want to i just want to thank uh the team of the state for letting me be letting me me being part of that amazing video we enjoyed the video when we were making it, and I hope that all of you guys up there have enjoyed it too, because we certainly did. When it comes to my hometown, Esteli, it is a vibrant city, a city full of life, full of colors, and those colors have been given to the city of Esteli to that amazing art, uh, graffiti art. 
and have the, most of those graffiti has been done by so cultural studios when we have had in the past people coming to Nicaragua to turn the, uh, with the cigar safari tours mm -hmm. People had amazing time at Hoya Nicaragua factory. People had amazing time at Drew Estate factory. But that was one beautiful department that caught everybody's eyes and everybody's heart. And it was so culture studios when they see the amount of graffiti, how colorful yeah. it is. Yeah. So for us, it was a beautiful touch to bring so culture studios with Nica Rustica because you can see the art right there yeah, at, yeah. at the lid of the box. And that's what Drew Estate has been done for the uh, past 26 years. Now, when people ask, what about the name Adobe? Well, Adobe is a construction raw materials that we use in Nicaragua to build houses. Those houses build beautiful communities. Those communities bring a lot of family together. And it doesn't matter where you came from, Jack. Because all those communities in my hometown in Esteli, they will embrace you as a family. And my best example, uh, right now, I got my man Jonathan Drew. When he came to Nicaragua in the mid-90s, Jonathan came from Brooklyn, New York. And when he went to Nicaragua, uh, he had a suitcase uh, full of drinks, you know. But he started this little cigar factory in downtown Esteli with six Estelianos. And one thing what they did, they built this beautiful, amazing cigar company. That nowadays a lot of people knows not just in the United States but all around the world because nowadays we got Drew State cigars available in 68 different mm -hmm. countries uh, outside of the United States. Uh, so these guys, Jonathan Drew and the guys that started with Drew State in the past, they didn't grow Drew State factory to be the biggest cigar factory in Nicaragua. They didn't. They didn't do that just by working hard, but by supporting each other as a family. So when it comes to Nica Rustica Adobe, it's a cigar that has salt in heart. And that's when we said from our house to yours, my friend, because we want you to experience what Will has been talking about it, what Frank has been talking about it, and I'm smoking this one myself. This is a beautiful cigar full of flavor that is going to bring amazing unforgettable memories. Ooh, wait. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank Jeez. you so much. Oh, man. <laughs> He's all, I mean, Pedro, Pedro can't lose today. That's incredible. Oh, man. Now, I, I, not to put you on the spot and make you follow up that beautiful uh, speech from Pedro, J.D., but you were kind of hinting at something a little bit before the video dropped. And you were talking about how people were guessing the price. Now, why is that significant? You're such a good host. Thank you. I, I, I felt good about that one. This guy is sharp. <laughs> if you only had Wad's hair, you'd be great. I know. <laughs> Don't you think I know it? So, yeah, I mean, that for me, you know, was, was a giant part of this. And Willie also was getting into this, is that Drew Estate is a blue-collar company. There are companies out there who want to make, you know, $20, $30 cigars. or And that's not a bad thing or a good thing. Is that we've always been about the blue-collar guy and gal. So for us, having products and ha you know, having cigars at every price point, but especially for the working man, the working woman, that is really essential to us. And it's, it's so, for me, fulfilling to see that this product we're bringing to market, people are saying this stick's worth 10 bucks, but I call this stick six buck chuck. Yeah. <laughs> this Nika Rustica Adobe is six dollars and under. And that is astonishing because the blend that Willie created and the team behind him to keep that cigar consistent, because that is a, a very consistent stick, six bucks or under, that is where we performed outside of our pay grade. That's where we punched above our weight class. To be able for Drew Estate to not forget its roots, not forget that everybody's important, all sm cigar smokers are very important, and we need to have go out of our way. Sometimes we as a company need to make less money. Yeah, the executive team, I know they're watching this at a watch party somewhere. They're like, oh, shit. That's right. We can't always, you know, we, we're going to make a little less on this one. And one of the things that are really interesting, so what I want to talk about for a second is what we call our value selection. And when you guys think about our value selection, in this case for, for Nika Rustica Adobe, one of the things that Willie was getting at is if we have a wrapper that's absolutely pristine like this Adobe here, the most cleanest of those wrappers are going to end up on a Herrera Esteli. 
but we still have wrappers that are going to be so good, you can't use them as binder because it's wrapper. Yeah. Nika, you know, hence Nika Rustica Adobe. So what you're, it's not the same blend as Herrera Estelle, but that's a case in point, right? When we create a stick, I always say as a baseline, how much does it cost Drew Estate to make a cigar? And you start thinking that through. Probably about a third the wrapper, one third the binder and the filler, and one third the labor. That's direct costs. That's separate from what our lawyers cost, or digging wells for water, or buying land to buy buildings. All of your indirect costs, the lights, that's separate. But in direct costs, the wrapper is very expensive. It's a, it's a huge part, what we call the auto. That's the auto of the leaf. So when you think about our value selection, for this cigar to be $6 and under, and all these people writing in, 8 to 10, 10 to 11, this and that, that makes me realize we nailed the blend. When I look at the packaging, I say this stick conveys what Pedro's getting at with his heart from our home to your home. You come to Esteli, Nicaragua. I mean, Juan, you know, it's beautiful. And the houses are beautiful, and it's vibrant, and the colors are real, and it's life, and it's beauty, and it's pain, and it's joy. And Nico Rustica Dobe touches on all that. So bringing this to a wrap, yeah. I want you guys to think of it like this. Whoever you are, I don't care if you got the yacht, or you're popping bottles, and you got your big time. We got sticks for you that we've devoted a lot of money, invested a lot into, created new facilities, processings, and we have that. But when you think of our value selection, and they're popping it up on the screen up there, you think about factory smokes. You guys know when you smoke in a Drew Estate factory smokes, there ain't no reasons that we ain't selling a billion dollars of this shit because it tastes so damn good and maybe too good. We probably should raise the price. <laughs> and then the Isla del Sol, you guys know that that's if you're not going to smoke a, 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 a uh, tobacco special or a Java and you're on a budget, boom, you're going to land on, the, on, the, on our, our Isla. So this kind of rounds it out with Nica Rustica, both the broadleaf as well as the new adobe. And that demonstrates our commitment to all Drew Estate men and women who are smoking. So it's very important. I think we nailed it. I think the swag is tight. Pedro's a U.S. citizen. We ain't fucking around. <laughs> amazing. Um, now, now, with all of that comes something amazing uh, is the, the swag. Now, it's hard, it's hard not to mention. This is why Freestyle Live existed originally is we have this amazing Nika Rustica event swag that's coming out. So uh, in that, that we have a candle, there's an amazing ashtray, candle. there's a cutter, lighter, there's all sorts of goodies. Yeah, light the candle for him. That'd be nice. This, we could use a little, uh, there's no smell-o-vision on set, but you know you can imagine there's like 10 dudes in this room. It could, it could smell a little bit better in here. So we're going to night a nice <laughs> Nika Rustica candle. Hopefully that's not a fire hazard. Uh, Pedro, you've been doing a ton of events. That's right, yeah. How are things been going out there? Things have been going very good. I just want to thank everybody that has been coming to my events and people that have been coming to our Territory Manager events too because when yeah. we come to Drew State event, during the, uh, during the pandemic time, we, we did these virtual events which we had the opportunity to reach people that we would never have the opportunity to reach physically. Yeah. But with the virtual event, we did, uh, we did our best, you know, to bring the Drew Estate experience on a virtual platform. But 2020 is a whole different year. So we have been doing these events all over, all over the country. Tomorrow, though, tomorrow is going to be the event that everybody's going to talk about it, which is the uh, Barn Smoker right here in Clearmont, Florida. Yes. We got the VIP and stuff like that. But when it comes to cigars, right here at Drew Estate, we know this, this one for sure. Cigars go hand-to-hand -hand with experience. Yes, sir. So you got the uh, Florida Barn Smoker. Maybe next year we haven't approved it yet. Cigar Safari. So that's something that you Ooh. have to Whoa. put Whoa. in your Teaser. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Executive <laughs> decisions. <laughs> okay, according to Pedro. Everybody direct <laughs> those questions to Pedro, please. Yeah. Uh, I want to touch on a couple things that I might have missed. Um, so first of all, we're going to have a full press release about all this good stuff tomorrow. So if you're one of those guys that's like, how many is in a box? There's, they're all 25-count boxes. There are going to be three sizes in Nicarustica Adobe. Uh, we have a Gordo, a Robusto, and a Toro. Um, and, you know, if you want more information, we're going to drop a press release on you guys tomorrow. But, Frankie Drinks, I think it's time we start giving away some goodies. What do you think? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> let's, let's, give away, let's give away the house, man. Uh, so, good news is that uh, we have 25 winners that uh, went out yes. earlier today. And uh, there they are. 
And they got this beautiful piece of subculture studio swag, little humidor case, uh, little travel case, and it's substantial, man. Yeah. I can feel it. Uh, hand customized at uh, at subculture. This thing is beautiful. Uh, take a look. So you guys, congratulations out there uh, for the 25 winners that we drew beforehand. So. Uh, you guys will get those, and I've got a drawing right here for one of our retailers, right, for a piece of our retailer swag. So uh, tell us what's uh, what that's going to be while I'm mixing it up, brother. Well, I'll let, the, I'll let that roll, and uh, we're going to have three retailer prizes tonight. Um, the main one is going to be some Dream Seat. Like when I mix things, you know, it's got to be like 15 one way, 15 the other, just to make sure it's right. Uh, so, Willie, I'm going to give you the, the honor here. Uh, so, reach in there, brother. Reach in there. Get get something get something in there. Who we got? Uh, Who we got? It's fixed. We got Vintage Cigar in Alabama. Oh. Vintage Cigar in Alabama. I thought you were going to say there's a different Vintage Cigar. No, nope. that's Nick. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So, yeah. Vintage that's Cigar Nick. in Alabama. Two, two more times? The, uh, no, no, no. We're, we're doing just the third place one right this second. So. All right. So, third place one. No, we're, you're just, we're just going to do right. just that drawing. What All we right. are going to mention, that's my bad, Frankie. All right, can we, I? Uh, yeah, you can get that so the heck out of your way. Man, it's, it's time for a cocktail. So I got my man Willie here, and I uh, wanted something special. You know, I, I call these cocktails out of spite because uh, I got very little room, no ice, no kitchen, no nothing. But guess what, Willie? What you got? Even if you don't have all those things around you, you can still make a great cocktail. All you need is just a couple of ingredients, and, and I'm going to do something called a michelada, right? right? And I think it, it really encapsulates the uh, the beauty and flavor of the, the adobe. So it uh, kind of works real well. So for those of you guys who know, the michelada is a beer-based cocktail. Uh, so what we're going to start is I'm going to go ahead and take a little lime, and I'm going to rub it on the end of your beer can. So all you need is a, is a, is a beer. Uh, I'm using Tecate today. Um and you could use any beer you like. And so what you need is a little uh, little spice mix in there. And I like to use something that has a little tagine, a little salt, a little sugar, a little spice. Right? And you get it right there at the edge of your beer. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open your beer and pour a little bit out. Save it for later. Okay. You know, don't, uh, don't, don't throw it don't away. Don't discard. No, you know, we always got to use it. Um, I'm using a little Ojo de Tigre today, so we're doing a little uh, amped up uh, michelada. So all you want to do is throw it right in there, just just a little bit. Just a dab. Right. And then um, I'm using Zing Zang, right? But you could choose your Bloody Mary mix if you do not have Clamato and mm. uh, other things. And then just uh, a little bit of lime goes right in. You want to squeeze it right in there. And uh, instant cocktail, bro. You have a, a michelada in a can, so uh, so enjoy. Thank you, sir. Nice and simple, so you guys Salud. can do this at home. Man, you don't need no fancy tools. You don't need no, just need some uh, really nice mezcal, a little nice uh, salt, a little bit of uh, lime, and a little bit of uh, Bloody Mary mix, and you're good to go. Frank, you know, like all your sticks and sips, I always learn something new. I never knew you could do a cocktail with beer as a base. That's amazing, man. So, like, yeah, you could actually, you know, beer cocktails are, are really good. They're actually a lo little lower in ABV. Yes, I'm, cran I'm cranking it up with the uh, little mezcal. Um, but that's just to give it a little bit of flavor. And uh, we're to take out there from Mexico, uh, Ojo de Tigre, that's using wow. uh, two types of uh, tola and espadín. And just give it a nice little refreshing flavor. And as you know, man, I always talk about refreshing cocktails with cigars. It keeps that enjoyment going, especially with that adobe. Adobe is so mm. full flavored, man. It's so rich. It's so it it, it runs the gamut. So yeah. a, a a beer cocktail to me is is a wonderful pairing. Absolutely, Frank. I'm gonna go over the next round of watch parties that we're shouting out. Um, uh, we have Sanjes up in New Jersey. Come on. Who can forget? Uh, Capital Cigar, Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, the Lancaster Motel sounds just incredible. Uh, that seems like a great place to go smoke a cigar. Um, and many, many more. So all you guys, thank you so much. And now we have another 
<laughs> yet another new cigar that's coming out that we're announcing for the first time tonight. Yes. And it is time for Juan to steal the show. Juan, what am I smoking right now? And tell the people what, what Hoya has coming. Well, first of all, big shout out to everybody out there. Thanks you for tuning in. Uh, as Pedro said, it's a great privilege to be here with, with the Drew Estate family and for us at Hoya de Nicaragua. It's, it's a pleasure to be able to share with you uh, some of our hard work that we bring to you with a lot of love, passion, and dedication. So it's, it's, it's a pleasure to be finally side by side, Jonathan, Pedro, Amen, yes. Jack, and the whole crew over there. Um, so we're very excited. We have uh, this, this year, particularly for all those of you uh, Hoya fans, Hoya Nicaragua fans, we're not bringing necessarily new brands to the market. However, we're bringing out some awesome new cigars in some of our best brands out there. So we're going to start with our Antaño Sete. So this has become one of your favorite cigars. Antaño, which means yesteryear uh, in Spanish, is that legacy brand from Hoya de Nicaragua, that robust, that strong, full-bodied cigar that encapsulates the essence of what Nicaraguan tobacco is all about, that richness that's given by the soil, the energy of the sun, that all of that is translated into this beautiful brand that's called Antaño. So this year we're bringing to you an extension of the Antaño Sete family, that paradoxical cigar that we brought to you back in 2018 that was designed to capture that richness of flavor, of strength, of robustness, but with that subtle notes and smoothness of the Connecticut shade um, wrapper that we have. So the same core blend, the same tripa, as we call it, the same fillers, um, seco, viso, and ligero from Esteli, but with that light Connecticut shade, Antaño Sete. And obviously it's a super successful cigar. It uh, won Cigar of the Year by Half Wheel in 2019. And this year we're introducing the Lonsdale size. We already had four sizes that were very popular, but this, uh, this year we decided to expand it on a fifth side that, by the way, it's my personal favorite size, which is a 44 ring gauge, 6 fifth eighth by 44. It's a beautiful, delicious cigar, always paradoxical in its essence, which basically means that it seems like a light cigar, but it kicks you in the ass. Yes. And that's what we're looking for in this cigar. It's coming to you very, very soon this summer during uh, Bonanza, right? Yes, it's amazing. coming to you. Let me throw a, a few things in here is, you know, first of all, congratulations on the new on the new stick. Uh, I would say the last two years, our, our partnership goes back 11 years now. Yeah. Right? Or 12. Well, more, 13, yeah, 13 years now. 13 years. And, you know, uh, for all of you out there who, who love Hoya, Hoya de Nicaragua, and you know that Drew Estate, there's this there's this tight relationship. We're always together and stuff. You know, many of you guys are not and gals are not in the business, yeah. but you see, why is Drew and, and Hoya always together? So, Drew Estate, we represent Hoya de Nicaragua, where their sales force and where their partner in the U.S. from a certain parts of the marketing and stuff. But what I've noticed, Hoya is on fire. This brand has hit a stride one what i'm seeing at the factory my last trip back or two trips back to nicaragua i spent a lot of time over at your factory i mean that place is humming the factory's humming the investments you guys have made but what is the biggest thing i've noticed the last two years in acceleration even three years in acceleration of so many people coming and saying ah oh, hoya is my favorite cigar it is just incredible how we've seen this brand grow and for us, I mean, that is a tremendous, you know, we are so happy to see your success and to ride into the, into, you know, the sun together, ride into the future together. And uh, I just want to say to everybody at, uh, at the Hoya de Nicaragua factory in Nicaragua, to your family, to Alejandro Martinez Cuenca, <laughs> your father, your brother, Alex, everybody, just had our, we tip our hats to Hoya de Nicaragua. And uh, not just the super high-end sticks that you're making, but even this uh, this uh, this CT is a very very affordable cigar. What's the price point on it? Should we talk about price? Uh, well, it, it's, it's very a fairly very, priced. It's, it's, it's a, yeah. right in the middle, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, bottom line is congratulations on your success, and uh, 
it really brings us great happiness to see you, you guys kicking ass. Thank you. And I have to say, we are very thankful and honored because Drew Estate, the whole Drew Estate family, the reps, the territory managers, everybody is our soul, our heart in the United States. So we wouldn't be where we are if it wasn't for you guys. So we're very, very thankful and honored to be part of the Drew Estate family. Wait, actually, that's not 100% true. We wouldn't be where we are without Hoya. Many of our head people, when you come to the Drew Estate factory and you meet Yesenia or you meet Luis, Luis is the head of production at the factory who runs 1,000 people of our, our rollers and boncheros. Yesenia is head of tobacco and purchasing all of our tobacco. Not only did Yesenia work for Hoya de Nicaragua as well as Luis, but Yesenia's mother worked for and she was a ponchero, which is typically only men. She was a legendary one, by the way. Yeah, we know. Yeah. And uh, so is her uh, very strong personality. Yeah, it is. But that's the point is it's not so much that you wouldn't be here if not for us, but it's the other way around. And what Hoya, when we built a Drew Estate from the ground up in Nicaragua, the two companies who we always looked at the most was Hoya and Padron. Those were two companies that for us truly represented, and there are other great companies across the board, especially now there's, there's a tremendous amount of really beautiful cigar factories there. But you guys really set the bar. How do you treat your employees? How do you take care of everybody? Nobody at Hoya leaves. And, and that's a testament to, to your great work. So thank you and, and congratulations. Thank you. And I just want to add a little bit more. Yes, please do. Because we also extend that gratefulness to, to our retailers. And um, we actually, this cigar is being introduced, not nationwide, but it's going to be introduced in a very, very special program that's called Club de Amigos of JDN. Um, you know, most of you are familiar with uh, the, the Drew Diplomat programs. So now Hoya Nicaragua is extending that uh, love and that warmth to some of our best friends in the retail too. So this cigar is going to be available at Club de Amigos of JDN stores. So ask your retailers about that membership. If they are, they need to be very good friends of ours, very close friends. A lot of them already are. So make sure that you ask them for Antonio Sete Lonsdale as part of their new, new releases. So thank you everybody and we hope you enjoy the new Antonio Sete Lonsdale. Yeah, Juan, I got to tell you, I got a bit of a bone to pick with you on this one because we shouldn't have told, this isn't one of those that we shouldn't have told people about because I'm not going to have any for me to smoke. This is like, we told everybody about the Herrera Lonsdale. I c you couldn't get one of those if I tried. Now, I thought that I had a nice little window yeah, to just well, run through these. You hand yo, me bro, one. how many you need? Uh, wow, I'm going to steal, I'm going to steal how I many. Know guy. I know I'm going to steal however many he brought with him, but you know, I have some long-term concerns about, uh, not the success of this cigar, but my access to it. So that's, I, so if, if you're going to be at the Barn Smoker this weekend, look us up at the Hoya Nicaragua section, and we're going to be giving out some of them samples so you can smoke them out with us. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for, you, for bringing me one of these, first of all. And, and you're not kidding about you know the smoothness and it's sneaking up. At the beginning of the show, I was like, where's my water? I was like, <laughs> I couldn't get words out. So uh, you guys check this out. Um, Willie, I kind of I teed it up a little bit talking about some of my favorite sizes. We have a little bit of news that we dropped today already, so I guess it's not news if they're paying attention, but uh, one, of your, one of your favorite cigars, one of Frank's favorite cigars, it's making a comeback. Do you want yes. to kick it to the video or cue the video? Yeah, let's, let's run it. What's up, everybody? Willie Herrera here with some great announcements. The Herrera Stelí Lanceros are back, both the Habano and the Broadleaf version. The flavor profile you get of the Lanceros is the truest form of what that blend is intended to be. Because of that filler to binder to wrapper ratio, you get the true taste out of all the components in that cigar. So in the Habano version, you get a more intense flavor profile of what you're accustomed to in the regular Herrera Esteli Habano blend. In the Broadleaf, you get that true, rich, complex flavor out of that Connecticut Broadleaf. You know, for me, the Lancero has always been one of my favorite sizes. I love this size, as many of you know, I'm more of a smaller ring gate guy. So I gotta tell you, I'm really excited about these Lanceros being back. Both come in a 15 count box. All 
All right, Willie, it's back. We told people about it today. I mean, I know Frank's got to be one of the most excited guys in the world for the last year and a half. He'd he'd be like, all right, uh, for this uh, episode of Sticks and Sips, we're going to do the uh, Lanceros. And I'm like, Frank, we haven't made those in a year, man. They're still not here. So when I saw this on the horizon, I knew that Frank, first of all, was going to be super excited. How excited are you to be? I mean, this is one of your favorite, one of our favorite Herrera sizes. Man, super excited. You know, everybody that's met me out there knows that I'm a fan of smaller ring gauges, uh, in particular Lanceros. The, the, the flavor you get out of a Lancero, you know, there's this misconception about a Lancero. Oh, it's too thin. There's no flavor. I'm looking for more flavor, more body. The Lancero size, whether it's the Herrera, uh, Broadleaf, or any other Lancero, when it's done correctly, you know, you get all that flavor from the wrapper, from the binder, and what that blend is truly intended to be. And so the flavor's there, the body's there, the complexity is there. Everything that you look for in a say a bigger ring gauge cigar, whether it's a 60, 70, 52, 54, whatever it is, you're gonna get that same flavor and that, that experience from a Lancero. And you know, to finally have them again, because uh, like you, Jack, uh, I didn't have any. Yeah. You know, I'm like, man, I wish I, I would have stashed a few boxes. And so, you know, I was, they're back, and it's exciting. Yeah, I tried I mean, to stash a few boxes, Willie. No, <laughs> you didn't right work? Uh, it didn't last long, man. So, uh, you know, Willie, I've been a big proponent, uh, uh, evangelist for uh, our Lanceros, and probably to, uh, to my... Uh, you know, to my own demise, not ability to have it. Um, but when we're talking about a, a Lancero, you're really getting what I call a the full wrapper experience. If you guys really want to go through what it means to experience wrapper at its core, um, you know, I've been a Herrera Sili fan from day one. Um, Herrera Sili Habano, uh, now the Broadleaf. And you really want to go uber uh you, you do what my man gary does you do l40s all day right and uh and then you get the full connecticut broadleaf experience because right. really what you're trying to do um not only is it take deft hands and a deft blend mm. to make a lancero but part of it is that the the science of burning a cigar mm -hmm. as you burn a thinner ring gauge cigar the amount of wrapper you get versus a larger ring gauge is bigger in nature. Mm -hmm. So you're really experiencing that beauty of that wrapper over the length of the cigar. It really becomes, uh, could be a full bodied experience, could be somewhere between medium, mild plus, right. depending, but you're really just getting all that beauty of that wrapper. And right? I'm a huge uh, wrapper fan and um, JD knows my favorite guy is Toothy Rapper. Uh, so, uh, you know, so you go from all the experiences of, of different rappers. And if you really, really want to dig into what it's like, I mean, you're talking about the Antonio CT in a Lonsdale. So you're getting more yeah. of that, you know, Connecticut rapper in there. Yeah. Um, in that blend and you're really having experience and then you get into the actual filler binder mm -hmm. that's creating that experience as you go through it so i'm uber excited man uh jack put me down for 10 boxes man let's do this at least perfect <laughs> i you know what i could see i could like smell the toothy rapper joke coming from a mile away and i was like he's is he gonna do it he did it so, i did it know. i did it i did it <laughs> Frankie drinks. This is a terrible segue, but sometimes you got to use a terrible segue. Uh, if I know one guy that likes to, a party, it's Frankie drinks. If I know one guy that can throw a party, it's Frankie drinks. It's Willie Herrera. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> he never invites me to those, though. Uh, but we have something going on tomorrow that is the DE25 pre-party. Um, now, for some of those that don't know, uh, this is an amazing experience that's going to be held the night before the barn smoker. Uh, now, in the past, people have probably gone to a, a VIP dinner and maybe they're expecting, you know, because we've never done something specifically like this. Maybe they're saying, hey, D25 pre-party. It's like a cool, uh, cool VIP dinner experience. No, 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 no. Just wrap that thought up, ball it up, throw it in the trash can because what we're doing tomorrow for the first time is going to be something that's going to be fantastic. Not only we have it on the screen right now. We have some amazing stuff, and I'm going to try to. Uh, I'm not going to be able to really show it off because it, it would take me. It would take me the whole rest of the show to be able to show off some of this uh, amazing swag that we have. Uh, but first of all, we have some amazing swag, as you know, we do. Uh, we're going to continue celebrating 
our 25th anniversary with this DE25 pre-party. And then we also have a, a cigar box that has kind of some of, we're playing the hits, some of our favorite cigars from throughout our 25 years. And then also in an inclusion of that, JD, we have these ambassador cigars, which we, I thought that was a secret as well. I thought we weren't going to tell them that we had the whole, run the whole gamut of all the cigars, but we are going to give away Savage Feast, Tuani. Yes. We got some Cajachinas coming out. So this, this event tomorrow, um, you know, if, if you want to elaborate on a little bit further, uh, or if you want to leave them waiting a little bit, uh. No, I'll just say that, uh, you know, Barn Smoker has always, it's been an industry game changer and a culture game changer within the, within the premium cigars, you know, creating Barn Smoker and having people, you know, uh, travel from 17, 18, 20 states internationally to spend the day with us. We, later on, we started to have this dinner the night before, like you said, and it was a small dinner. Uh, sometimes a little fee, sometimes not, whatever. It was really all about raising money for Cigars for Warriors. And this year with the 25th anniversary, it was really a different thing. It was about the night before Barn Smoker is a, is a separate event. Yes. It's Drew Estate 25th anniversary. And, you know, what you're going to see this year, if you're making it to Florida, believe me, look out there on Instagram and Facebook and watch what you're going to see. But we have pulled out all the stops. I mean, the executive team approved the budget for us, the marketing gang here in Miami really went over the top. So I'm really looking forward to this. And I think it's going to be an emotional evening. It's going to be a lot of fun, the music, the celebration. And then what's beautiful is, Jack, DE25 is that Friday night before each barn smoker. Yes, sir. So it's a traveling show. Yes, sir. It's a traveling experience. And you know, like always, we're going to see some of the same faces hit all five. Yeah. For sure. And then you're going to see, it's if you're in Dallas or, or you're in different parts of the country, you know, it's doable where you don't have to get on a plane or it's closer to your house. So the DE25 celebration kicks off tomorrow night. Yes, sir. And then it will happen four or five more times throughout the year. Yes, sir. So I don't think we need to go on more than that. But, yes. but I'll tell you this. One last thing on this is that there are so many people that we've met throughout the years. I mean, grown-ass dudes, military, tough motherfuckers <laughs> who come to you crying. I mean, with tears and shit. And they're like, you guys changed my life. You, you, you reunited me to my brother. We haven't spoken in five years. And because of Drew Estate Scars or Hoyt and Nicaragua, we're back together. Or, you know, it used to be always the father led the son into the cigars. And now you see it so many times, like, you know, my son brought me into cigars. You know, there's a lot of emotion behind premium cigar smoking. It transcends a utility. It's not about a nicotine uh, 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 blast. It's really something much deeper, and it's something very personal. And I think tomorrow night, we're going to set it off. And so we're really looking forward to it, Jack. Yes, I'm not, I, I couldn't say any more myself. One thing that I do want to highlight is, uh, you know, just, just to give it its own little shine for a little bit, is the Savage Feast. It's Barn Smoker Presents Savage Feast. So this is, this is going to be an event we're doing in Texas, which is not technically a barn smoker because there will not be a barn there. Um, but it's going to be a kind of a medieval feast and uh if people show up to this thing i mean when people show up to this thing not if people show up to this thing that's not a very pessimistic uh it's going to be an incredible time there's also going to be a de25 pre-party before that tickets for this one are selling quick so this is going to be one of those ones where people are like did you go to the savage feast no i went to four barn smokers i didn't do the savage feast go to, just come to the savage feast we're gonna have a great time there uh, and now, without further ado, I'm very excited. I was I handed another cigar uh, that I'm going to light up in one second. Juan, tell people about this just beautiful cigar. Uh, there's a lot of things going on today, man. Yeah, I mean, you got it, <laughs> right? It's been, a, it's been a trip. Yeah, it's, it's a trip. It doesn't man. stop. This is also news. This is People didn't know about this. No, no, no people didn't know about this. All of this is super Juan, exciting. Juan, repeat after me. Don't stop. Get it, get it, get it. Get it <laughs> and this is just the first one, the first freestyle. I don't imagine what the, what the rest are gonna brought, bring. Yeah. So very excited too. Um, this is not necessarily something new. A lot of you have already smoked it, but we're making it m available for more people. So in 2018, we we had the privilege of celebrating our 50th anniversary. A lot of you already know the story, uh, and we we were giving away as a thanks for people who came out to our celebrations, a very special, unique cigar 
that was only gifted as an event exclusive cigar. That cigar turned out to be the numero uno that a lot of you love and smoked and top, you know, top one cigar, top 25 cigar. But there was one particular experience that we, that, that marked us. That was during a trade show, we had this gentleman, a good friend of ours um, from a store in, up in Chicago called Up Down. And he came to us before anybody knew about this cigar. And he said, you know, I love this cigar that you guys are giving out for free for events. Uh, I want that cigar for my store. And we said, no, we can't, man, because we, we really appreciate your, your trust, but this cigar is not for sale. Uh, so time went on, uh, and we eventually launched this Numero Uno brand that a lot of you know and love. And uh, we decided to do as a, as a gratitude to, to Up Down uh, uh, an exclusive cigar. It's called La Tache. So it's the, the, the younger brother, the smaller brother to the L'Ambassador. Uh, numero uno. So this year we're making it available outside of UpDown, which was a store exclusive. Uh, we're making it available for all of our DDRP and Club de Amigos of JDN friends and family retailers. So you can look up now the Numero Uno, which is a phenomenal stick. It actually earned the top 15 best cigars of the year uh, by Half Wheel in 2019. So now it's available for, for, for all of you to enjoy. So another great and exciting product coming out of uh, Joya de Nicaragua under the Numero Uno family. Yeah, you're sure you didn't name it Numero Uno because you knew it was just going to win every award for like five years in well, a row? Well, it ended up being a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I will say like, like this is like kind of like a shot chaser scenario. Where I had the CT kind of wake me up a little bit and then this one's just taking me, yeah. taking me all the way home. So... I, I am super excited for people to get their hands on this one. I mean, La Tache, yeah. it's one of my favorite cigars that, that, you know, I have access to. And when I say have access to, I mean, I, I steal from you on your yeah. way out. Um, <laughs> we charge you for them? Yeah, well, maybe. Well, I hope not. I hope nobody's Actually, looking. you do. They come out of our <laughs> <laughs> I hope nobody's looking at my specific uh, inventory request. But I have another cigar that I'm pulling out right now that is, you're talking about cigars that are making a comeback. Uh, we are we are announcing that Year of the Rat is going to be back. So I'm holding the I'm holding the box right now. Uh, we're going to sell these starting next week. So this is a nice little piece of news. Who doesn't love a Year of the Rat? Uh, when we were talking about Freestyle Live originally, JD, that was kind of this was the a fur, full circle moment for us. Uh, right when the world kind of first shut down, we had a Freestyle Live and we kicked off with the Year of the Rat. Uh, we started this thing called VSSEs, and now we're bringing back Year of the Rat uh, for this year. And guess what? We're going to be, you know, bringing them to barn smokers, and we're going to be sending them out to the world. So, uh, do you have anything on Year of the Rat that we want to touch on, or should we keep it moving? Yeah, I'm always going to touch on something. Yeah, I would love that. So, first of all, that Numero Uno, fire. that is a great job. Hoya, you guys are on fire, and the the Numero Uno family is just uh, that. You got that is a really, really game changer. So, congratulations on that one, and to the Hoya team. In terms of Year of the Rat, yes, sir. One of the cigars that had one of the biggest impacts I've ever seen in the cigar industry. That's a big yes. fucking statement. The shit's bold. Was the Dirty Rat. The Dirty Rat, the original rat, was a game changer. The L40 was a big deal, right, Lily? Oh, yeah, it was. The big L40 time. was a big deal. But the, the Velvet two, Rat was also. The, hang on, the Velvet Rat is <laughs> what I'm saying before Velvet, before Year of the Rat. Before all sorts of rats, there was the dirty rat. And I would say when Liga Pravada, which was, you know, to me, one of the biggest industry game changers. Listen, I was there the night that Opus X was released to the world. It was at the World Trade Center. The week or the month that I opened our cart at the World Trade Center and started Drew Estate. And there was Carlito Fuente and his father at the World Trade Center on the top, windows of the world. And, they, and I went and I watched and I was in the back of the room and I walked up and I said to Carlito, I said, I'm the guy with the little cigar shop downstairs. And he reached in his pocket and he gave me two torpedoes of Opus X. That moment was so impactful for me. It had so much influence. And I always said, one day, one day, we're, gonna do, we're, go, we're going to, to, to look at that standard of excellence of Opus X and for us that was Liga Pravada and 
as Liga became this phenomenon throughout the United States and now even internationally, yes, sir. the two cigars that pushed that even further, Jack, was Flying Pig and the Dirty Rat. So the Dirty Rat and the Rat family, which extended, as you mentioned, into Velvet Rat, and then later into Year of the Rat, uh, this is a this is a cigar with a history, with its own <clears throat> little mini tradition, its own little cult following, and you know it's not new, but we don't make a lot of it. So we're bringing it back. We're going to throw out a few boxes. They're going to sell out in three seconds. So if you're looking for a year of the rat, you'll be able to snag one. And they came out excellent. You know, every year when you're making a brand and you're making a skew, Willie, mm-hmm. every day at the factory, yeah. it's every day. Yeah. It's very, it's much easier to keep it consistent. Mm-hmm. But when you're doing something just once a year or twice a year, you've put that blend down for a minute. People ain't smoking it every day on the factory floor. They're not burning the, the, the tripa, the capote, everything. So you guys nailed it this year. Everybody's loving it. The production team feels good on it. And, uh, you know, that's it. We're happy to bring it out. Now, you're talking about Liga Pravada. And I bet a lot of people are watching the show and they're like, all right, get to the giveaways, guys. I bet all the good news is over. You know, they, there's a new – we got new – Numero Uno's coming out, like, all right, let's get to it. Like, these guys got to drive up. But no, 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 JD. Uh, we have we have another veritable sledgehammer we're about to swing on these people. And it might have something to do with Liga Pravada. We have a video ready. Are you ready to kick it to the... Drop that shit. Drop huh? that shit. We have a brand new... Vi- Phineas Gage. The curious case of a railroad foreman who took a spike straight through his brain and lived to tell the tale. Mr. Gage. A perfect gentleman before his accident was a curmudgeon after, and it had been reported his disposition was never the same again. Nevertheless, we set ablaze his lancero, similar in shape to the spike Phineas met, in his honor. The Liga Prevara H99 Phineas Gage Lancero hits you like a spike right through your brain box, exciting your wonder and altering your perceptions. Taste and aroma of Connecticut Corojo Hybrid Tobacco might just make you a changed person. All right. So, Phineas Gage, you guys. It's the Liga Pravada H99 Phineas Gage. I'm going to start kind of... We, we were talking about Nicarusica Adobe in the blend earlier, and I think Willie... Uh, a lot of people might know this blend, but it's like the Night of Lanceros. How excited were you to blend an H99 Lancero? Holy cow. You know me, man. It's all about small ring gauges. <laughs> and again, in this Lancero format, man, that flavor, that, that, that intensity, that uniqueness of that, you know, that, that hybrid. It's all about the hybrid tobacco, the hybrid wrapper, whether it's on the H99 or the, the, the Liga 10. Um, it's intensified, and it's there. And it's smooth and it's delicious and it's it's powerful and it's all encompassing and it's it's a lancero, man. What 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 more can I say? That's I mean it, this had In to be the like words of on fun lancero proof. <laughs> uh, <right>? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, listen, man. Uh, as much as one of one of the many many images that we have for Drew Estate, you know the nail head guy, right? So uh, so you guys go look up Phineas Gage and you guys gonna embrace. Uh, the beauty of that name, right, and the beauty of the hybrid, um, and especially uh, to explore a hybrid wrapper, right? In a, in a Lancero. Now, in a Lancero, where you, right? You're getting that, that flavor. Boom, all of it. So all you guys with the H99s that are out there, like, wondering what it's really like, right, that, ha- that have been part of that big release and have been with us, now you guys get that full exploration into a smaller ring gauge, yeah. entire uh, journey into that H99 uh, that wrapper. Hybrid, yep, that hybrid wrapper. That hybrid wrapper, man. So uh, I, I'm super excited. 
Uh, Jack, put me down for another ten boxes. Yeah, this one, this one, Frankie. We just gotta, we gotta let the people try these first. I mean, come on, this one. Now, uh, sure, after the ten boxes. <laughs> after the 10 boxes. No. Now, this cigar, people may not know. Well, people don't know because we just told them about it. I said people may not know, as if there was like some sort of news source uh, besides us. Uh, this cigar is going to be available uh, at our Drew Estate events. So, Pedro, I'm going to put you on the spot. You're you're the man on the town. You're doing more events than you know anyone. You have your own event cigar, yes. but this is going to be an available at events. How exciting and important is that for you? Dude, let me tell you something, man. For everybody that have been coming to our cigar events that we do right here in the United States, so first of all, thank you so very much for all the support. And this is the special touch yes. that Drew Estate brings to reward those people that come to our event. So, finish Gage, a Liga Privada H99 Lancero is going to be available only our Drew State event. They're going to start to drop right there, uh, right around June. That's when we start to do all the uh, all these events around the country. So besides, you know, my Undercrown 1020, besides Willie Cigar, which is the Cajachinas, besides uh, Savage Fish by Jonathan Drew, so we got this amazing Lancero. I'm very sure that people are going to embrace this brand amazingly because... A lot of people knows about Liga Privada H99, so guess what? We got H99 available now in a Lancero format, which is, we are super, super excited. Now, JD, I'm going to ask you about Liga Privada. I mean, H99 and Liga 10, they're starting to become more and more available, and the H99 coming in at a Lancero format and being available at events is kind of that next stage or the next wave of the, the Liga story. So what, how do you feel about that, and what's, what's kind of next for... Or how did this brand start and where is it now? Yeah, so uh, it's an interesting thing. So real cigar geeks and all these, you know, master blenders and such around me here, <laughs> they, uh, they, all of these people love Lanceros. And Frank's going to tell you how it's the flavor combustion of the, the wrapper. But, you know, it's interesting when you really look at the cigar industry worldwide, and you really diagnose in terms of the per stick con or per size contribution in sales throughout the world, not just of Drew Estate, across the board. What really moves the needle is Robustos and Toros. It's a huge percentage of all cigar sales. I mean, it's, 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 it's most. And then from there, you'll see, you know, Double Coronas or Churchills. The amount of people who actually smoke Lanceros, and who, who it's it's a much smaller, it's a connoisseur cigar. It's for kind of people who are who are you know part of that crew who who they want a certain experience. They're usually typically more experienced smokers. Mm -hmm. Now that being said, cigar blenders, master blenders, people at the factory. When they're rolling a Lancero, not every cigar roller at our factory, at Hoy de Nicaragua, or any, none of the big, fa any factories can roll a Lancero. It is really a, a, a just like you think of like a, a, a flying pig, any of these strange sizes. There's a different skill set. It's one skill set above, if not two, to roll a Lancero. So there's a lot of thinking and thought and pride for a master blender to be able to say, this is my Lancero. Because it's not necessarily the bulk of people out there who are buying Robustos and Toros, my guys. It's the people who are like, if your Lancero sucks, you're going to lose respect within the <laughs> industry of other cigar manufacturers. So if you make a Lancero, that shit better be tight. I, well, not tight. That better be <laughs> fucking draw. But it better be good. So the H99, and you asked me about the story, I'm going to touch on it for a second. Sure which is many of you guys and gals know at the 10th year anniversary for Liga Privada this was the first time that Willie Herrera was actually blending a Liga Privada the previous blends which was Liga Privada number 9 the crown favorite the biggest of all the Liga T52 the best of all the Liga <laughs> and that's you know very subjective uh those had such big popularity, as they still do today, around the world. And they were not blended by Willie. It was prior, he, we were already, Willie was at the company already for many years, and we had the Herrera Esteli line. But when Willie moved into the position of master blender for Drew Estate, there was a lot of controversy. A lot of people, remember Will? They were like, yo, 
don't have Willie blend the Liga 10th anniversary. Because if people don't like it as much, they're going to say, Willie didn't do a great job. I said, absolutely fucking not. This man is going to blend this cigar. You better be There's risk. There's risk. I said, this is bullshit. Willie, we got aligned as to what we wanted in the Liga 10 blend. And not only did he kill it, and not only did he make, in my opinion, the best Liga that we've added, which for me moved from T52 to the Liga 10, the problem in the matter was he blended two cigars that we couldn't decide which of them would be worthy to be the Liga 10. And that was born the H99. So instead of us making the hard choice of selecting only one, they were both too fucking good to get rid of one. So we really released two. One of them where we really concentrate on the hybridity of the cigar, which is the H99. That cigar is all about, as you guys said, H99 is about this hybrid tobaccos, these two foreign elements coming together to, be, to really create something new to the world, and H99 on fire, where Liga 10 became this, this big beast of a Liga 9 on steroids, essentially. That's the way we describe it. So with this Lancero, we're very proud. It's not just about trying to create something that rings the cash register. As you guys know, Drew State sells a lot, probably more than any cigar company in the world, maybe even double that. But sometimes we do a blend, like we talked tonight, a, a value brand like Nica Rustica Adobe, where it's not about making money for the company, it's about making something for everybody. And then there's a blend with a purpose, and this blend's purpose is to demonstrate this is your favorite graffiti artist's favorite graffiti artist. When you go, hey, that's my favorite graffiti artist. Who is his favorite artist? This is the Liga Pravada lover's favorite Liga Pravada lover. Boom, this is it. So Pedro's going to have it. We're going to have it for all of our events. If you want to get one, the only place to get it is at a Drew Estate event, I believe. Yes, sir. Yes. And the retailers will get their allotment. So it should be a lot of fun, and we're looking forward to it. And you're going to see what Willie did. Let me, let me ask you something. The name is so elegant and captivating. What does it mean? Phineas Gage. Ah. Oh. Phineas Gage yes. is all about this dude who, who plugged a nail <laughs> through his head. <laughs> yeah, right? Construction for, it was like a guy that worked at a railroad. Okay. Um, and, you know, everyone said that he was the nicest guy ever. And then he's working, at a, he's working on this railroad. And he, one of the spikes just goes clean through his head. And everyone's like, oh, he's dead. And then he's just like, ow, oh, what happened? And he was alive. <laughs> oh, and, wow. And everyone was like, what? But what happened was, when they pulled the spike out, he survived, but it hit a part of his brain, and he acted different afterwards. And it was one of the first times that people knew about, like, that different areas of the brain controlled different parts. Now, if you guys are a real history buff, and I'm wrong about this, that's totally fine. You know, we're a cigar company. I'm not, I don't work for an encyclopedia. Oh, that's an awesome yes. man. I think that for our, for our purposes, it was, it was a nice little... the big piece. He got the nail through the head, the nail was taken out, and he said... I need me an H99. <laughs> yes, that was a... Uh, <laughs> yes, and, that's... You know, like, small ring gauge cigar. You know, so uh, Phineas Gage. There you go. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Awesome. Actually, shout out to An Fan. I, he, to this An was Fon. this was his concoction. This is not wow. Well, the name the Lancero too. Come on, you you knew yeah. that that was in his head for a long time. So, and the the video which will drop tomorrow was really cool. It's you know very train themed, and uh, I think that you know it's kind of the same shape as a railroad spike. That's what we'll go with. I'm That's right. I, I, like Pedro's made some executive decisions. Maybe I made that executive <laughs> decision. I don't know. Maybe well, the the official press release will drop later, and that you know use that as your gospel. There's been some <laughs> there's been some micheladas flowing tonight. So. Uh, with 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 a Michelada in mind, Frank, we asked you an impossible task to create a a cocktail worthy of a Phineas Gage um, in our studio in the middle of nowhere with no ice, sink, kitchen, anything. What do you got? You mother. <laughs> anyway, so what I've got today is I've got like two cool things, uh, Willie. I've actually got uh, Fever Tree, one of my favorite mixers, and then we've got Spiced Orange Ginger Ale, mm. right? And it, I've also got Jameson Whiskey, the orange version of it, and it's triple distilled Irish whiskey with orange zest in it, so it's just beautiful flavors and stuff. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make an instant cocktail, right? Uh, today, um, where you don't need a whole lot of tools, you don't need a whole lot of stuff, you just need a couple of things. So I'm starting with the Fever Tree, right? And this is about a, a 6.8 ounce bottle. 
So what I'm going to do um, really easy is uh, pour out a little bit, right? Just a little bit. I'm going to take the Jameson that I've got. And what we're doing is check this out, man. Do you know what my favorite cocktail is, Willie? Your favorite cocktail? No, I don't know. Uh, my favorite cocktail by now, Willie, you should know, is a highball. Highball. It's yes. a highball. So I'm going to take both of these. So I'm layering orange upon orange um, because I think some, you need something refreshing. That H99 packs a punch. It's beautiful. And I'm going to go ahead and squeeze that lime in there, okay. much like you guys do with a Corona, right? And we're just going to flip it. Mm. And we're gonna shoot it out <laughs> and shoot it out. And uh, Willie, there you go, man. So you've got Salud. a little highball in the glass. So you don't need a whole lot of different things to make a great cocktail. Um, you can just make one right here, and that's just really refreshing. And when you're laying that beauty of that H99, um, you're getting all those flavors. And what you're doing is a little citrus and a little uh, ginger, a little carbonation. That's refreshing your palate, so you can keep it going yeah. for the rest of the night. And, uh, you know, for me, whether it's a uh, Adobe, whether it's the Herrera SLE, and my favorite, you know, tends to be the Broadleaf. But you need a little something to keep that yeah. going because people think it's deceptively delicious. Right. But it's got, it, you, it oh, gets it packs to you. a punch, yeah. It packs a punch. People yeah. think it's like that thing range. It creeps up on you. Yeah, that's not going to have anything for you. And like, man, you're absolutely wrong. Give it a go. And now Phineas Gage with the H99, brother, you, mm. you, you hit it out of the park, man. 305 style, right? Yes. Like how we do. So uh, get your hands on that. Get your Make an easy one. Uh, Jack will probably put up the, the you know the cocktail mix later on. Of course. Or we'll feature it on Sticks and Sips every we'll Wednesday. Um, but, man, I'm super excited about that. It was good. Frankie, plug Sticks and Sips for a little bit while we got – well, because we're about to do the final two raffles. So this is when we have the most people, the most interested. We need to lure them over to our show. All right. So every <laughs> Wednesday night – you know, I am the host of Sticks and Sips, the Drew Estate Virtual Happy Hour. We're, uh, we've been on for over two years, uh, started during the pandemic, and we're still going strong. Uh, last time we had Julian Van Winkle, man, and uh, we've got, you know, a slew of great guests coming forward, talking about their great spirits, talking about their cigars last night, talking about Pappy Van Winkle, mm. you know, uh, family reserve barrel fermented cigars and seeing you know what julian likes and uh we were kind of surprised you know julian likes vodka and soda uh so uh you know hey man you know we uh we respect everyone's taste and flavors uh but we're here to uh edutain you on a weekly basis and willie we've, we've got like a an episode coming up we're going to be going live from one of our favorite places right now um it's cafe la trova right, right. And uh, Jack, you know, we're going to announce when that's coming out and we're going to have a great time uh, with Willie. We're going to be uh, having a good time together. Oh, yeah. And uh, listen, man, tune in every Wednesday. You guys are going to learn, you know, Pedro, you're going to learn. Yes, sir. Come on, you're going to learn. JD, JD don't need to learn, man. He's got his <laughs> miscounted groaning. He already knows what he's got, you know. So, uh, but tune in. And I got my man, Jack Hire, that's with us every week and guiding us through so i hope you tune in and we've got some uh, good giveaways right jack yes sir and frank speaking of giveaways it has come to that point in the night so what we're going to do is we're going to give away our second place trade you're going to do the trade i'm going to do the consumer and then we're going to give away our grand prize this jeep wrangler uh that'll be the first place prize that i'll draw out of this wheel and then our first place for the trade frank will draw and that's going to be some dream seat recliners and a store credit so, Frank, I'll go first, you go first. and then I'm going to have a very special guest for our last pick, um, but that will be announced shortly. So, give me, how many, what's the appropriate amount of turns? Uh, about 15. One way, 15 the other. What's Let's this go. first pick for? This first pick, you're going to get a, which has never been seen before, a Drew Estate barrel bar. So, so when we, years ago we did the bridge bar two years ago, yep. now we got a really crazy bar coming out that's a barrel bar that... This is like an eight foot bar. This is like a, um, an incredible, like, okay. 80 foot bar. It's eight, you know, let's not quote it on that. All right. <laughs> Pedro, you pick it. You pick Giant. it. Giant. All let right, let's know. see who's ready. Let's see some heart. Yeah, let's get some Dig likes. Dig in there, man. Dig in there. <laughs> Rich line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so this one goes to 
Chase Danner, Port Charlotte, Florida. Chase, Ooh, congratulations, yeah. man. Chase? Chase, congratulations. I almost just messed that up. Perfect. You go ahead, Frankie. Hang on, man. I'm still... Uh, oh, perfect. Well, yours are spinning a lot better. What's yeah. this one for? This is going to be $2,000 credit and, for the trade partner, also a barrel bar. So this is for one of our retailers. This is one of our retailers that's going to be getting this one. So, Willie? All right. If you don't you mind... Got it? I got it. I got it. Uh, Ain't nothing going to happen. Uh, all Just right. Reach all in right. there. Get something Dang good. You know, get... Gonna get a good retailer, let's, let's, let's man. Get one here. of our beautiful retailers out there. Vintage cigar. <laughs> Maduro Room in South Carolina. A oh, man. Yes. Oh, yes. Great, great, great people. Uh, yes. Shout out. I think it's fixed. <laughs> yes. So for before we get to, we have two more retailer watch parties that I want to highlight right now uh, before we get to the big, big moment. Uh, I'm going to read through a couple cousin cigars in Akron, Broadway Cigar in Portland, Wood and Indian, shout out to you guys, Caravan Cigar Company, shout out to you guys, um, and then finally we have one last one. Uh, I'm going to highlight a store in Alexandria, Virginia called Cigar Palace. There's some very special guests <laughs> there. Uh, I hope that they enjoyed um, and plenty of wine tonight on us, fellas. <laughs> and then, the all right, it's that time. I'm going to call in a very special guest picker. It's Acid Man Gary, rebranded previously. Previously. Let's go. You're selecting. This is for a Jeep. Let's go. This is. <laughs> you're picking the winner for who get, who's getting a Jeep. Go no pressure. Go, Jeep? No pressure. Holy shit. Right, you're getting that Jeep that <laughs> you're I was rolling the around. So, you know, so the so wait, whoever baby. wins this gets a Jeep. Is that right? Whoever wins this is getting a Jeep, baby. All right. Oh, and you're getting one too, Gary. Yeah. Uh oh, who do we got? Jeffrey Kayan. Jeffrey Kayan. Look that way and say it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey. The is Jeffrey Kayan. Woo, congratulations. Yes. <laughs> oh, New Hampshire. <laughs> nice job. Baitfish Gary to the rescue. Baitfish Gary. Dover, New Hampshire. He mispronounced that. It was Frankie Drinks. <laughs> well, I, uh, so if you, if you were a winner on either the trade side or the consumer side, uh, I'm going to reach out to you on Monday. i got a busy weekend ahead, but we have your information. We're going to work on getting you some forms to fill out and all that good stuff. Um, you know, you guys, as we kind of, we're, we're going to go around the horn and say goodbye. But, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody that tuned in. I'd like to thank everybody that was behind the scenes making this happen. I'd like to thank all of you guys, uh, for, you know, showing up tonight. And we had an amazing time. Pedro, final words for the people. Well, for everybody up there, thank you so very much for all the support. Everything that we do right here at Drew Estate, we do it for you. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed everything that we have done. And we just can't wait to see you guys tomorrow and this weekend and the events in the future because Drew Stay doesn't stop. <laughs> Frank, wait, real quick, Frank, did you, did you draw two prizes or just one? I think I just, this, that was my second one. I think I need to do one. Oh, my goodness. Somebody just caught that. Thank goodness. So... Congratulations, yeah, Joe Grow, thank for God catching I'm us. We almost just things. Joe Grow, thank you, Joe Grow. I gotta Joe. drive to Orlando. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Willie. All right. Let's get Woo. get in there, man. I got this. Dig in. Joe Grow to the rescue. You coming tomorrow, right? Yeah, of course. I'll be there. This is it. Very well. Smoking cake. Chrome Premium Cigars in Florida. Ah. Congratulations. All right, Willie, now that we got you in the spotlight, say, you know, say some parting words to our people. You know, like my boy Pedro said, it's uh, exciting times. Uh, we're going to see a lot of friends that we haven't seen in person in over two years at the, the Barn Smoker, our first Barn Smoker since uh, getting back on the road. So exciting times and fun times lay ahead. Frankie, what do we got for the people? You're uh, gonna be you're gonna be a barn smoker. I'm gonna be a barn smoker. Come see me at the Six and Sips booth. Uh, you know we'll get you your Six and Sips cocktail book. Uh, come by. I get it, get it signed. Uh, but what can I say? I'm here in the middle of Murderer's Row of Drew Estate uh, with Pedro, with Juan, uh, with JD, with Willie, and uh, with Jack, is uh, and Joe in the background. Uh, man, super happy to be here. 
This has got to be the most amazing Freestyle Live Special Edition ever. So I hope you're out there at the watch parties having a good time, having a good cocktail, having a good drink, and more importantly, having a good cigar. Yes. Hey, come on, Willie, dude. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know, you just, stole my I just got, hunter, got your bro. back, like, bro. I got your back. 305, he just cut me in the fucking back. Uh, anyway, but stay tuned. Uh, we got more great you know, freestyle lives, but more importantly, uh, see you at the Barn Smokers. Juan, what do we got? I'm giving JD the last word here. Man, I'm blown away. I'm blown away for all of this. I think uh, I've never experienced so much creativity, so much passion. I know there's a lot of stuff coming out to you guys, and all of this is for you from this team at Drew Estate. So kudos to everybody at Drew Estate, and we hope that you really enjoy all the new stuff that we've been making together for, for you. So Amazing. enjoy, everybody. See you at the Barn Smokers. Mr. Jonathan Drew, take us home, sir. Well, first of all, great job tonight, everybody. This was a lot of fun. We didn't get drunk enough because we have yeah. to, well, we didn't get drunk <laughs> at all because we have to drive. <laughs> but I want to close this up with a huge shout out to the Drew Estate sales force that, you know, these guys and gals, you know, uh, you work so tight with us in the marketing department and uh, watching what you guys have done throughout these years, the the... The hard work supporting our retail, our retailers, and you know, through difficult time through COVID, like Pedro said, we're back. We're back on the road. We're back on the streets. And uh, for all of our sales force who are barely salesmen and saleswomen, they're they're their own mini ambassadors out there. You know, um, we really really appreciate your hard work as well. So from the marketing department and from the production team and from the blending operation and from Hoya to Nicaragua and Drew Estate. Uh, we are going to have a great time at Barn Smoker. We're looking forward to it. And Gary, ready to drive? Yeah. We're ready to drive. Well, cheers to everybody. Uh, we're going to leave you guys with an amazing uh, commercial for uh, Adobe that was made in Nicaragua by Subculture Studios. So thank you guys so much. Looking forward to seeing you guys this weekend. We're out. Peace out. Enjoy this amazing video from Subculture Studios. Yes. Yes.